Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we're going to take a look at a battle on Koopa. Alright, and the battle is starting now with the DO215 B4. I'm coming in with the Yak 90 Normandy just to escape this situation um, in case of. I'm getting some Ognomachiki SG43 combos with a Saperi in this town just in case. And over here. Over here, we're going to get some Ognomachiki onto this forest with starting with some 82 mil and some Gavardia unit over here. T3485 combat and the 37 mil um, Zen art, which are coming with artillery. I mean, sorry, with um, off my ass. Well, <laughs> with supplies. There you go. My opponent here is going to start strong pretty much everywhere um i'm getting his first do 217 he's gonna bring some flak 43 with an aft track probably to be able to move it better or to uh i don't know get some more half track but anyway i am shooting here with the uh 82 mil mortars just making sure that enemy who would come for these on the are being suppressed a little bit. I'm retreating with my airplane. I have this flag early on, so it is a 14-10 for myself. My opponent is playing Fist Panzer on a Maverick Income, by the way. He's going to move into this house to capture back his flag. Now he's about to capture this flag of mine here. I'm coming in with some more Saperi as I see. This little thing makes me worried, so I just figured I would um, move over there as precaution. Gonna move these guys a little bit. That guy finally arrives with 15,000 ammo. Now I'm coming here because I know. If he has this flag, it's either he came here or here. In this case, he did both. He's coming in with the SGFZ 251. He's got some half track motor two star as well. Coming in with the M2A1 to stop these grenadiers from moving in. Now he's going to start moving the Panzer IV a little bit more in front to start shooting these guys off. The Stone Panzers is getting pinned down. I momentarily take that flag back. He's gotten this flag back as well. And I've gotten this flag back, putting the game at a 13-11 for the moment. He's going to come in with another DO-217. Um, these are quite good actually because they're really big bombers basically so they do have a lot of uh, sub, uh, what you call it resilience I'm bringing the Yak 90 he's going back around I've got the 37 mil here he tags me I know that so I'm going to move myself away from there I'm retreating because I suspect there will be some AA around here now that I first killed so Oh I guess I oh I guess I didn't know, so I'm not yet moving that 37 mil. Stone Pioneers come back for me and he's masterfully hitting me at the same time with mortars, so he actually did quite good here. I put some smoke to try to escape, but uh, in the end he will win this engagement. He's bringing that flag 43 further above here. He's got that 81 mil mortar waiting to attack me. He's He's put it that close to benefit from the radio um, that his own unit has. And most likely, this is what I'm assuming, because there is a radio here. Um, so there's no reason, other than wanting to profit from his own radio range, there's no reason to bring it so close. I have one. Where's my third one? He died already. I've got one that died. I don't know where. I can't remember too much, but anyway. Oh no, I didn't. I only have two. No, I think one died. 
maybe not. <laughs> I just, I just don't remember. All right, so that is KFZ. We'll start shooting at that 37 mil. But now I did move him around. I've got some Saperis to start coming in. This is my meme second guard deck, basically. It's not so much of a meme. It's just, it's a weirdly built deck, really. Calling two more 82 mil. And I've got the T3470 Razvetka and the T3476 as well coming in. DO217 coming in. I'm calling it the Yak 9T. Um, he gets to see where my units are, but not too long at least. So I have a chance to move them around, you know, after. He's coming back around because now he knows he's got flag 43. He's going to move that guy, which I just started shooting back at. Now he's going to start shooting back at me. And this is where I actually lose one, I think. Um, I didn't bother moving. This is a mistake that I don't usually do. Uh, but here we are. Now I'm getting the Saperi ready to cross over this wood. So I'm putting some smoke with these dudes and these dudes. While at the same time, this guy's going to start hitting me. And I don't have a lot of chances here. These are motorcycle, you know. So they, they get killed pretty easily if you don't move them. He's going to on the attack, but I'm also going on the attack. It's SU-85 here. I think he saw that SU-85, so he decided to fall back a little bit. Or maybe he saw that I was also rushing him with all that smoke. He's going to put some smoke around here so that he can move in with his tanks. Uh, yeah, there you go. One died. So now I'm going to have three. I don't have any AT weapon infantry, but it doesn't matter for now. Uh, he's hitting me with uh, with smoke. Now I'm going to move with these Saperis. He's got the Panzer gonna do around here, take care of these guys. Smoke, actually, since these guys are hugging each other, they will actually die together. And there you go, now they're, they both surrender. At the same time that this unit dies. And if the unit dies, I think your unit should come back <laughs> and be like, Oh, hey, we're not going to surrender. <laughs> they just died. Uh, anyway, so he's, he's got another 81mm mortar here. He's coming in with SGFZ-259, a Panther J as well. Um, I've got one left, one surviving Sapiri. He's still owning these flags, though, unfortunately. I'm trying to look for his flamers, but he died. I got these guys aiming at that Peter J. And now I got some Gavardia coming in. And I'm going to try to do the same thing that I did here. And this time with Gavardia. So I'll, I will be aiming to kill those Panzer IVs. Right, not doing much not super precise these don't have radio range i love uh, i figured because with this deck i figured i'd use the 82 millimeter as a wolf pack but they really are chicken pack because they don't do that much damage since, since they don't have the radio ability coming in with the yak 90 to kill that uh, SDKFZ, but i saw he had off map so i uh, i just got out of there i didn't want them to get killed uh, maybe I should have went for it. This was a mistake. I instantly regretted it after um, getting these guys out. Anyway, I'm going to get some smoke. He is go he's moving forward with Storm Pioneers, actually. Which is strange, but I guess if there's an AT gun, then you can easily take care of it, you know. Pack 40, getting shot at by that SU-85. SU-85 stopped by smoke. I've also got some smoke. This Gavardia kills that Panzer IV. Now this one is kind of blind, but these guys are jerking around. And there you go. Now I've got more smoke coming in. This SZKZ takes care of one. I got one left Gavardia coming in for that Panzer IV. There you go. I've got full, full on smoke. And there you go. Panzer IV dies. M2A1 dies. Panzer Shrek will die as well. And this is how I stopped this push of his over here. He still got that SDKFZ, but I got my Gavardi over here. And there you go. This is shit is down. That some Pioneers will die. He's bringing some Panzergrenadier. I've got 
my Yak 90 available. I've called in one of them. One, I, I brought these uh, T-34s over here to uh, shoot people on the side. I did get some kills. I got uh, this SZKZ kill. I got uh, this half-track kill. Um, he had a tank here that killed my tank. Uh, it was a Panzer IV. Unfortunately, these guys are wasting their ammo on that uh, recon tank, on that recon plane. I'm shooting at that SGFZ. It is starting to feel the pain. These are the the small, weak SGFZ with only 20 ammo, uh, 25 ammo in them. They're not the strong one with the 40 mil, uh, with 40 ammo. So, I mean, it is getting uh, starting to get damaged now. Gavardia, I'm putting on return fire to make sure I can capture as much f uh, of the flag that I can. But now he's being seen by these Panzer Grenadier. I brought more T-34 around here to make sure that I could get some opportunity kill here. Bringing, I believe, my last Gavardia for phase A. Oh, we are in phase B, so it doesn't matter, actually. I've got these guys over here. And um, somehow the Panther will be able to shoot at me from there. I didn't think he could because it says he can't. Um, so, you know, these are the things that I look for when I move my units. But apparently he can shoot me there. He's shooting at one of the mortars. And here's the first off map. The first of many, I'm going to say. Ah, there you go. The second is already coming. He's coming in with the DO215. I got my 37 mil here. I got another 37 mil coming in. I want him to stop seeing where my units are, especially now that he's got off map. I don't know that yet, but. Knowing that he's got off map, you know, it just makes so much more sense. Uh, I moved these guys successfully. I survived. I'm bringing the PE2s on the Flag 43 while getting these guys to go and kill that DO. But the DO just decides to disappear because that's what Steel Division 2 does. I've pinned these guys down, which will allow me to get back to safety. So that was my little plan here. And often in my videos, I often say, do not bring airplanes alone for bomber run. In in A phase, you can get away with that. But in, in B phase, it's starting to get really dangerous because the AA is closer. They may have many more. He's calling in another DO-217 now that he knows I don't have anything. I'm unloading this guy so that I can stop him from going too far. Uh, but he's going to retreat anyway. These guys are never going to die on their own. Well, unless you mismanage them. I'm, I'm being sick of this a little bit. So I'm bringing another 37 mil over here. I'm moving those T-34s because one just died to that pack 40. I saw this guy here from the SG-43 seeing him. So I decided to automatically start shooting at him before he can move. And he is shooting at my old position as well although quite close to me but there you go so we're both shooting at each other he's already um, oh that's the new one too it's not even the damage one the damage one is dead already so I did kill it all right he's going to move straight away he actually survives all right now that he half map here and here, he's moving with two Panther J. I've got my T-35 combat not being able to kill them. I've got the SU-85 over here not being able to kill them either. He even missed. I've got these T-34s doing nothing. I got that 37 mil coming in. This guy's shooting as well. I got the PE-2s though coming in and I've got my Mortars as well. Mortars is going to go right away on this guy. I, I uh, wanted to use them on the Panthers. There's three Panthers now here. One Panther J, two Panther A. I got my PE2s on these assholes. I killed them. There's another off map coming. Now that I got the bombs there, I'm moving in with the T34. Razvedka, unbeknownst to me, now there's a Panther facing me. 
doesn't kill it right away but I decided to go and move forward with my T3476 as well I'm bringing the Yak-9 T to help with the suppression and these guys they do have a 37 mil so they are really really good I did kill that um, mortar half track now of his so now both are dead he's only get he only gets two bringing the t3476 now as these guys were bombed by uh, something or suppressed anyway I miss the opportunity to surrender him so I'm gonna try and get back here PE2 uh, going for that Panther A I believe he's called that's his other off map at this point I told him you're the off map king aren't you I'm getting quite pissed off by his off map um, anyway I killed his flag 43 I see him he was about to shoot that Panther A so I put him on return fire Bring a uh, Yak 9T again, but I lose line of sight. Don't know why this guy's not shooting at me. But anyway, I don't have any more ammo left in these dudes, so I'm gonna have to resupply. There is a Panther right here, another here, and a Pack 40 coming in as well. I still got a T37, uh, T34 here. Now he's starting to push far. He's coming. That's bold of him. I'll give him that. I got two more SU-85. You've seen the deck. I do have a lot of SU-85. And I guess he was saving points because he's bringing all of this crap now. And he's going straight into the open. Anyway, I'm returning fire. I'm going to bring an airplane to see where this thing is. It is here. I'm going to adjust my shots. There you go. And I think I'm going to bring a bomber as well to make sure he doesn't move. He's already moving a little bit. SU-85 killing that uh, pack 40. As this off map, I kind of veer forward over here. There you go. I brought yeah. There you go. I brought the P2 up to kill that Panther. Then not for that, but so getting some mortars around here, stopping some of these guys from moving. So that's good. All of these Ersatz being stuck there. Su85 Panther was hiding. Now we're going against this uh, Pack 40. I got the Yak 90 on the machine gun. There you go. Night machine gun is pinned down now. Oh, that pack 40. Oh man, they're so. And there you go. That Panther just got out of retire. Uh, just got out of the house. Now this guy is missing. Of course, they're they are unvetted SU-85. All right, this is bound to happen. I'm aware. These were there mostly for spam reason and being in ambush position. But I I kind of don't have the choice now to use them. Um, if I, if I want him to be careful with his Panthers. I see another panther here, so I'm gonna bring the PE2s. And I feel no remorse whatsoever using um, PE2 spam against him, especially the amount of off map that he has. I'm coming here. Maybe I should have unloaded first, but I figured there's nothing that can kill me here, so let's just move on. But then this guy killed me. I got confused, and I've unloaded everyone as a result, um, which might be for the better anyway. So now it is a battle here. Falker Wolf being shot at by that 37 mil. Yak 90 coming in for the suppression on these pets are gonna do another off map. Like this guy is just selecting half map on my on single units. Uh, yeah, I see all of this, so I'm gonna move away. There's a T34. Everyone is pinned down. Is uh, pinned down here now. These guys are also shooting some HG shells. So now I decided to go around again with the T-34. And I see everyone is pinned down. And so I'm going to move fast and try to get some surrenders here. Meanwhile, I've got more Gavardia DP. 
And there you go, it's happening. Oh, I guess it's not happening. <laughs> oh, that PE2 just shot. Okay, as do I still got... Yeah, I, I got these. I'm going to... I don't know. But there you go, that PE2. Now everyone is pinned down. Now I'm moving. And the half track is also going to come in. And there you go, and now I'm starting to get some surrenders. Whoa, 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 camera. Sorry about that, guys. We've kind of missed that epic moment. People are just surrendering all over the place. I'm going here with the tank, getting some surrenders here. Getting uh, the half-track over here to get the surrender. I'm killing that SDKZ. Pets are going to do it. Actually, he kills me all. And he says, Krupa being Krupa. And he surrenders. Instead of saying good game to me, whom I heaten off-map after off-map skillfully on my end. Um, and this is a good player. He's got 78%, 79% victory ratio, this guy. Um, and he only ever just plays 5th Panzer. So uh, I knew this was going to be a very tough fight from the start. Um, I was really, really mad that he views so much off map. I guess it is Koopa, but you know. Um, anyway, and I guess he was getting pissed because I kept killing his stuff. So uh, anyway, that was, I thought the, the game was great. So I decided to cast it um, with all these off map and, and the surrender at the end and the PE2s. I thought it was a lot of action. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you want to see my games ads free, go to my Patreon and get that $7 per month subscription. Um, and and I'll, I'll, I share all my videos there to my paid members. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.